Hey YouTube, Mike here representing Gardenomics, the channel formerly named Enlightened Arts. Today I am posting my first how-to video of a hydroponic Dutch bucket build. Throughout the course of this video I will be giving step-by-step -step instructions on how to build a single Dutch bucket system. The system is very effective and extremely inexpensive to build, especially if you can get your buckets for free from a restaurant or other source. All the materials used to build the system can be purchased at a local superstore or hardware store or ordered online. So without further ado, here are your materials you will need for this build. For this build you will need a large bucket, preferably an opaque 5 gallon. This size will give the plants roots enough room to grow to their full potential as well as having enough room for 2-3 to three gallons of water. The reason the bucket should be opaque is to prevent algae and other bacteria from growing by keeping light out of the reservoir. A bucket lid. Five gallon bucket lids can be found at any hardware or superstore and are very inexpensive. For this system, we will be cutting a circle cutout in the center of the lid to house our net cup. The key is to cut a hole a few millimeters smaller than the diameter of the net cup. This ensures a tight fit preventing the net cup from slipping into the reservoir. Clear vinyl tubing. Clear tubing is extremely inexpensive by the foot and even more so when purchased in bulk. I am using 3 8 ID tubing because that is the size of the attachment currently on my pump. The size of your tubing will be dictated by the size of your pump's output tube. Be sure to measure that adapter before purchasing any tubing. I can use clear vinyl tubing only because my water delivery system will be contained within the reservoir preventing algae blooms caused by sunlight exposure. If you are running tubing on the exterior of the bucket, please be sure to use solid black or other opaque tubing. Net Cup or Fabricated Container Net cups are available extremely cheaply online and from the right vendor can be purchased in bulk for under a dollar each. To keep costs down, you can turn any plastic household container into a net cup using a drill or dremel. Water Pump this is where ordering online will start to save you a good bit of money, especially if your goal is to build a larger system. The size of the pump you will need will vary by the needs of your system. Larger systems require larger pumps. Because this system is so small, I will be using a very small pump rated for 80 gallons per hour. Air Pump Like the water pump, the size and cost of your air pump will be dictated by the size of the system. Because the system is so small, you could easily get away with a cheap air pump purchased on Amazon online for under $20. However, purchasing a more powerful pump at a slightly higher cost that has multiple outputs gives the grower the option of expanding his system in the future. It is all down to your needs for your system. Airstone. Airstones are used in tandem with air pumps to diffuse the oxygen coming from the pump into the water, creating an oxygen rich environment for the roots. Air stones are not strictly necessary, but they aid in the oxygenation process, which is extremely important to the health of the roots. Porous material. When using organic materials in a hydroponic system, they have a tendency over time to decompose and plug the pumps. By building a filter using a porous material, we can ensure the smooth operation of the system. Last but not least, you will need a suitable grow medium in which the plants will grow. I'm using Hydrotin, which is a porous expanded clay pellet. This medium allows for the right moisture retention, it is lightweight and inexpensive, and its porous nature attracts naturally occurring beneficial bacteria. This material can be purchased online in bulk or at a local superstore depending on your area. In addition to these items, you will also need nutrients and pure water. When it comes to hydroponic nutrients, you have the option of growing two ways, using synthetic-based or organic nutrients. While I normally pride myself on growing 100% organically and making my own nutrient blends using a mix of all-natural amendments, I had General Hydroponics Floria series lying around, and since it is one of the best-selling nutrient lines of all time, I will be making a follow-up video detailing the use of the nutrient line in my opinion on the brand's effectiveness in tandem with the system. Now that you have a list of the materials you will need for the build, it is time to start constructing the system. The construction is extremely simple and only requires two cuts. 
one to house the net cup and the bucket lid, and one to house the tubing from the air pump and the power cord to the water pump so that the bucket lid can shut properly. Once these two cuts are made, all that is left is to hook up the air pump and air stone with our flexible tubing and place the latter in the reservoir. Cut and attach the filter to the water pump using the porous material. Place the water pump in the reservoir and run the flexible tubing from the pump to the middle of the net cup. And finally, place the net cup in the bucket lid, fill it with hydrogen or other suitable grow medium. After these steps have been completed, your hydroponic system just needs to be plugged in and is ready to run and be seeded. I hope you all enjoyed the video. And before signing off, I wanted to leave a parting message. With the way our current debt-based monetary system works, there is a distinct possibility in the near future that our currency will eventually become worthless. This will cause major problems in our country and food and water will become scarce. By learning how to cultivate food and provide for yourself, you will be much more likely to survive another Great Depression-esque situation. I am making these videos because I believe that we have become a nation of consumers and have become dependent on large corporations to provide our food and other goods, which puts almost unlimited power in the hands of a few individuals. It is time for we the people to take back our self-sufficiency and be able to provide for ourselves and our families. I made this video in the hopes that this information will allow and inspire people to start growing their own organic food and become more self-sufficient. With that being said, I wanted to thank all of you for your time, and please like and subscribe for more videos. This was Mike with Gardenomics, hoping you all have a great summer, live, learn, and grow.